<laughs> Tri-State's busted, Tri man. All right, speaking of Tri-State, uh, Venia and Bankai, a Pokemon showdown with Greninja, the nimble and fast, versus the the tool, the toolkit that is Pokemon Trainer. An incredible, an incredible set of skills. But I feel like Squirtle is probably going to be the the main highlight here. I know Ma I know Bankai has an incredible uh, Ivysaur, but Squirtle is going to be the most effective at keeping up with Greninja and crossing Greninja up since his main weakness I find is like getting out of shield especially hitting the back of his shield behind him is something Greninja can't really consistently do which is why you see uh, whenever Venia does shield which is a very rare case uh, he's jumping out of it and he's jumping back and he's trying to space forward with a bear or jump out with a bear I mean that worked against Apollo the Ice Climbers player yeah but Bankai different Player here, obviously 95% here for Venia. Let's see if he can get this edge guard. Will he switch Pokemon here? No, Ooh, almost, he's able to make it back with the Vine Whip. Yeah, almost pushed him out of Vine Whip range, but he made it back just in time. That Vine Whip is incredible, incredible distance. Ivysaur really needs to keep his distance here. Ooh, he got him off stage again. He's trying to go for that upbeat to try to push him off like he did the Popo. Yeah, as soon as that you, last step. As soon as you miss one Vine Whip, it's almost like a, they're guaranteed going to Ooh. switch. Reading the tech in place. Forward smash, incredibly strong. Did it get stronger? I don't remember which what Charizard buffs got. I have no idea, but, but uh, gonna go back to the Squirtle here. I've noticed it as the uh, the the higher level Pokemon trainers have really discovered, like you mentioned before, Squirtle is really the future of this character. It's what, yeah. maybe not the future, but it's definitely what how this character has progressed um, in the in the past couple months or so. Squirtle has people have really started to wake up to what Squirtle likes to do here, but. Venia bringing it back up to even here. Right. Gonna stick with the Squirtle. Yeah, he's playing. He's playing all around him, trying not to approach too, too consistently. Running up and through the platform, kind of circling him, waiting for his chance, and there it is. Looking for the dash tap. Venia just kind of knocking him back and forth across the stage here. Seventy-one percent. Oh, he tried to go for uh, jab and a grab. Yeah, see, just a jab mix up on the shield. Benny's mix ups are so crazy because you can never really tell what he's exactly looking for, but it's always going to be dangerous. Oh, going goes deep. deep for that for that edge guard right there. It's going to be a yeah, re-grab, and that's going to be a down tilt into a forward air. That's that's been Benny's bread and butter today in terms of edge guards. He's so good at catching that re-grab there. It's Greninja's an, an, an incredible character at catching re-grabs since his dash attack and down tilt both set up into kills and hit ledge. Hold it, pushing him in the shield so he can back, get back to ledge. A powerful up smash, but not enough to do it yet. Charizard's looking for the kill as one as Charizard is known to do. Oh, another Charge up did. smash? Was he, he was ready for it. Was that, yeah. a, uh, was that a dash attack coming out? It had Venia? to be, but I'm surprised that the, that the up smash hit him and let me hit so low. Greninja gets so, so low to the ground when he sprints. Ooh, oh, pushing away. Push him out, looking like Greninja. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, but he missed the punish. Oh, that was a beautiful edge guard there by yeah. Benny. Oh, Mixing really up his options. Smart. Again, going to the Charizard here. Interesting option here by Bankai. But, I mean, the first two stocks, it worked out. And now he switches back to the Squirtle here. He needs to rack up a little bit more damage before he decides to switch to the Ivysaur. Or he's just going to switch to the Ivysaur here. Yeah, you got to keep Greninja on his toes. You got to keep mixing them up. So switching between each, three, each of the three Pokemon, you have a different game plan. Start cycling through Venya's head as quickly as he's switching these Pokemon, but nothing beats pure fundamentals of reading out roll, roll on the ledge. Another one catching with the dash deck. And he tried to read the jump high, going for that up air there. Oh, another just barely missing with that forward air, just barely missing with that forward smash as well. Squirtle definitely harder oh, to hit, but also lighter. He rotates through these Pokemon so quickly. Another roll. Get down there. Oh, no, but another beautiful read. That yeah, Benny is not going to go straight to the ledge yeah. in that situation. He knows that Bakai is looking for that down air there. But again, one forward air near this ledge will be able to kill. Almost. He wants, he he wants, the, for it he here. wants the hard read. He look, he's looking for the hardest punish he, that Ivysaur can give. Uh, just about to say, we're probably going to switch to the charge right here. That, that killed the rage. That was unbelievable right there. We got to a point where Bakai mixed. He, he switched Pokemon at least six times yeah. that last that, that last, last stock. He cycled through it as quickly as he could, always trying to get some sort of advantage. And you see Bankai in the in the screen. He like he's popped off. He's taking a big jug. Like he's he's pumped. Absolutely, he's pumped and he's going into game two with momentum. By the way, he, momentum by the way, completely killed. proving us wrong in terms of the Squirtle. We thought we would see a majority Squirtle there, but yeah. he didn't. He 
kept it even. Looking like uh, looking like December, looking like January. Smash Ultimate, we're in August, baby. And Bankai's taking a 1-0 lead here. Three, two, one, <laughs> right. go! Let's see what we got. The water type starting first. Great parry, but not no punish. Trying to get trying to catch a roll out of a roll out of shield. Landing with Nair on shield, safe. Strong Nair. Oh, thank you. Oh, that would hurt. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're right. Ah! Man, these parries. It's, it feels like they have a beat. They definitely have a, uh, uh, a gain on what they're trying to get. Oh, and you up smash. Okay. See, I guess they're trying to go for a see, double. See, what Bok is doing that's really interesting to me is he's do he's still going majority Squirtle, but he's switching to Ivysaur for like five to six seconds at a time and then switching to uh, Charizard here. Not even when he's at disadvantage state, but just in a situation like this, this is a bad spot for him to be switching Pokemon. Yeah. Up until this point, he's done a good job of switching Pokemon. That was not a good play. That was not a good series of play there by Bankai. Every single time he switched Pokemon, Vinia caught him with an up air or that forward air right at the end there. Bankai needs to do a better job of realizing when he's going to go for these specific options. Oh, the tether, the tether grab. Oh. Yeet. And that was that was a, a, a bad play there by Venia right there. Yeah. Knowing that he was probably going for a grab, but only dying at 86%. They side blast on smallest in the smallest of the legal stage list as of right now. It's it's incredibly easy to kill off the sides here, which is something that both Squirtle and Ivysaur can do rather rather efficiently. I'm I'm enlightened with bullet seeds. Bullet seeds? It's I've incredible. seen it a lot. I've seen it a lot more recently. It's it's getting so much more use. I'm like, wow, this is actually like a solid get off me tool. The hitbox is really surrounding. And he connected with that down air, but he just happened to be on stage. Swing with the up smash. Back throw. And this is a character right here that Venia has had trouble with early on in this set here. Yeah. Particularly with that up smash, but he's able to avoid it there. Yeah, making sure to crouch under it. It doesn't hit that low. Oh. Okay, interesting oh, he player. fell out of the up smash. Oh, unfortunate there for Venia. He caught him on that Town and City platform, but he just barely fell out of the second hit, and that forward are not able to kill either. Charizard, heavy boy, heavyweight. But anything oh. that'll do it. Anything like that. <laughs> anything like Charizard up smash will be able to kill a ton of characters. Here we go. Venia on his last stock here. Let's see what he decides to do here. Will we go back to the yeah? Going to the Squirtle, a brave, a brave get out of the get out of the edge. Ivysaur, an incredible neutral, but it might have a little bit of a rough time approaching. Just <laughs> All right, but he's got 30% of extra credit here. He is going to want to rack up a little more damage here. Yeah, to 30% Veni is very is nothing to squirt off. One grab and he gets like at least 40. To Venia's credit, he hasn't really allowed Bankai to get a ton of these really long-winded Squirtle combos that yeah. we've seen uh, in right. in, uh, in recent weeks, but. He still finds himself on the defensive here, down one game to zero. Do you see the Ivy Store now? Good parry on the forward air. Good parry on the Razor Leap as well. Yeah, that that frame one switch is such an enticing defensive option, but eventually Benny is gonna catch gonna catch a beat on that. Good tech in there, not repeating the first stock of the last game. Yeah. Dangerous switch off stage right there for Bankai, but he is able to make it back. Yeah, see, see what I mean? He's trying. He's like so. There it is. <laughs> oh, he read the Pokemon read with a beautiful air dodge there by Bankai to get himself out of the dangerous situation, and that time he is going to be able to kill the <laughs> the Squirtle right there. We see a little pop off right yeah, there by Venia. Let's go. Venia, Come look, on. Venia looks angry. Yeah, near near to near to a platform up S smash. See how come that the, how come that up smash killed off of the the Town and City platform, but the one on Charizard the biggest boy of the Pokemon didn't. Uh, it had to have been this, the actual place in the hitbox where it was. I'm not sure how the first hit connected and the second one missed. Yeah, that was kind of nuts, but a big meaty up smash right there. 1-1, one, one, Venia yeah. versus yeah. Bankai. Game three. Um, Bankai, like we mentioned before, um, has done a good job of mixing up his Pokemon. He just needs to do a better job of he needs deciding to the times. Yeah, he needs to time the switch better. His yes. His actual neutral with all three has been really solid, but he needs to time when he's going to switch better instead of just doing it like pretty much out of every combo. Absolutely. Oh, here we, we go. go. We right got here. the Whirlpool. But these are some of the Squirtle combos that yeah, we were talking 50%. about before. That's the first real big one we've seen this set thus far, but 50% early percent percentage lead here for Bonkai. Sorry. You're good. Oh, I got a New York City rat in my throat. That's a big rat. <laughs> 
Oh, careful hey, with that. Dangerous situation with that side B there. Switching from Ivysaur, switching to Ivysaur in order to try and recover, recover effectively. A great parry on the Nair. A lot of these rapid jabs are coming out. They're trying to read each other. They're reading each other's spot dodges with them, but they're not getting a, the full amount of, uh, of value that they can off of them. Why what? Oh, oh no, he went for yeah, it there. Too high. Too he was the there by Vinia as well. An aggressive switch that time. Absolutely, but he's looking for this up smash again. He's gonna be able to get it. He's making and him jump. He's making him jump with these landing aerials. Get around. He's forcing him to get around me and then swatting him out of the sky with some big old wings. Sorry, I talk with my hands. Yo, I talk with my hands as well. I'm an actor. <laughs> Vinny needs to do a better job of realizing, hey, that's what I'm going to be going for. Like you mentioned before, though, making him jump, putting him in situations he doesn't want to yeah. be in. It's not even like he's making him jump. Greninja wants to jump. Greninja wants to come in from the air. He wants to get all these all these strings starting off of his nair and all this landing fair. But it's so hard when you have a, like such a great anti-air characters like Ivysaur and Charizard catching the get-up attack but not killing... Went for Rapid Jab again there, but... Yeah, he's looking for the Spot Dodge out of Shield. Isn't it crazy how disjointed that fair is? That's a little stale, though. It has to be stale at this point. That didn't kill at 150. <laughs> Either, rather that or Charizard is way heavier than I thought. There it is. Nah, there we go. 53.7% of extra credit here. Going to go back to the Squirtle. Didn't see a ton of Squirtle that suck. I mean, aside from the beginning of that suck, he went majority Ivysaur and uh, Charizard. Do you think maybe he's seeing something different with this match? It's potentially he's trying to, he's more trying to counterplay instead of keep up. He, instead of trying to, to keep up with the speed with something with Squirtle and get around uh, the hitboxes, he's more trying to put himself in positions where his hitboxes can snipe where Venia is going to be rather than keeping up with the neutral and keeping a fast paced neutral. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. And, and again, this is, what we, this is what we're talking about, sort of. In unoptimal times to be able to switch there. He's able to get a little bit more damage off of another up air there. But Bakai's still with a percent lead, even if it is marginal. Oh, double down smash. I'd be sure the way That's to dead. go here. Wow. Beautiful use Razor Leaf into up air. That's the first time we've seen that. Yeah, he's reading he's reading the air dodge, but getting these switches into air dodge, which allows him to escape the escape the charging forward smash. Okay, we see Venia again here on his winner's bracket stock here. Gonna stick with the Ivysaur, but like you mentioned before, maybe a little disadvantageous in terms of hitbox size. He runs up and counters. Venia playing a little scared, maybe. I mean, it's the first time he got first time he's used it all set. He's trying to trying to get something, trying to read maybe a razor leaf and come in with a kill while he's still at low percent. Able to get Charizard off stage though, trying to utilize that upbeat to push Charizard off, but he is uh, going to be able to kill with that forward air there. 35.5% of extra credit here. Last game, last stock, but here we go. Squirtle racking up damage slowly but surely, 57%. And he's able to catch up with the back air there. Let's Two see what he does with the punish. All right. Like Man, center stage here. This back air shield going, getting a lot of mileage from Bankai. Going off stage. Oh. And if I'm Bankai here, I want to spend as little time off stage in this position as possible. Switches yeah. off stage again, but he's able to make it back. Center stage here, gonna look for that back air. He's been killed from getting up on the ledge both times. He needs to try and uh, try and find a way around it, or try, either try and find a way around it, or find his way off the ledge. And we're gonna see Ivy That's it. That is it. Beautiful match Ooh. right there. Venia obviously very very upset there. Looking over there at his viewing partner, trying to talk like what? I, th I thought you said he wasn't going to hit me with Razor Leaf, but he hit me with Razor Leaf, and then he hit me with an up arrow. 